layer. And then of course I have my third layer, which are the items I typically access more frequently. Hey, it's Jason. Thanks for tuning in. As the title of this video says, I'm going to review some products for my 2023 Ford Maverick XL Hybrid. The cool thing about this car, lots of aftermarket products exist. And the inside has a lot of plastic, which is okay, but that means that there's a lot of really cool 3D things that have been printed. I'm gonna warn you in advance. What I'm talking about today, all of these products were provided to me at no cost. They said, hey Jason, pick out some products for your Maverick, we'll ship them to you and give us an honest feedback and an honest review about the products. The company is called Raya One, R-U-I-Y-A-R-O-N-E, R-U-I-Y-A, O N E. I'm probably pronouncing that wrong, but I'm doing my best here. Anyways, the products are all 3D printed. They should drop in. And as much as I love all the storage on the Ford Maverick, I do wish some of the storage just wasn't so open. And let me tell you, and let me show you what I'm talking about. So you have lots of st like compartments in here, but things just kind of slide around and move. I have a knife thrown in here, some extra air fresheners, a key. I love this cubby here, but it's just a big pit. And then all of these little cubbies, they get a lot of crumbs and things in them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Some of you are going to say, what do you expect? You're complaining. I get it. But if they make little pads that go in here on organizers, why don't I use them? So the purpose of this video is to show you what I got. So they were kind enough to send me a few things. One, my screen has, getting, has been getting incredibly smudgy. Um, and I worry if I open up something. The other day, I had a soda on my auto desk and I hit a bump and it splashed the screen. I was like, you know, it would be nice if I could protect it. They sent me some screen protectors. I also have some other things that were shipped to me, like plastic 3D cutouts for a cubby organization. You can see these little inserts that go into various pieces of the car which is kind of cool and then some additional plastic pieces which I actually like I've got to look at the email that I sent them and see exactly where these go I don't remember offhand however the initial build quality looking at this it's what you'd expect it seems like heavy duty plastic it doesn't seem too flimsy or too junky uh, supposedly it's precision cut, so like this would drop right in the cubby and sit. Little section for change and it just elevates things so you have like two levels. Things you can lift it out and things can go underneath. And then I got a bunch of the uh, little mats like these for various other areas in the car. Okay, so by default you have a pretty big center armrest cubby in the 2022 Maverick. Or sorry, the 2023 Ford Maverick. It's the same for the 2022 as well. So you're basically just getting this really deep empty box, which is great for hand sanitizer. Throw it in there. But instead of just continuing to throw things in, it would be great if there were layers. And this is where this comes in handy. So you get just that. So you take the first one, you put the little pads in, and you can see it fits in there absolutely perfectly. And then the second one is the second layer, which can sit. So now I have basically three tiers of storage and everything shuts absolutely perfect. And then if I want... So for the center armrest storage by Raya One, do I like it? I do. It's easy to get things in and out. I can get to my deep layer. I can go to my second layer. And then, of course, I have my third layer, which are the items I typically access more frequently. So I can take some stuff out of this and I can throw it in here and be significantly more organized. So thumbs up on that. Let's talk about the screen protector next. 
So the screen of the Ford Maverick is very small. If this was a Tesla, it would be significantly bigger like the instruction show. However, fingerprints, you're touching it. I have this auto desk in my truck. I might have a beverage here. And I do a lot of work from here. This is my project vehicle, so I'm in it a lot. And admittedly, if I'm at the building, my hands might be a little bit grimy. And when I touch the screen, everything works. But when I start looking at it from different angles, I start seeing a bunch of smudges. Typically, I would use a microfiber cloth, and I would go in here, and I would wipe it down, and all is good. However, why have to keep touching the screen if you can protect it? So, enter the screen protector. This is tempered glass that they give you. It comes with installation instructions, which are very basic, and a wipe for the screen. So, the first step, I'm going to cut the car off, because I don't want the screen on. And then this is the actual... Protector that you're getting. We'll lay that over here. I'm going to set this camera down so I can actually do it and show you Okay, so the first step is pretty straightforward and pretty easy you take this little Wipe that they give you and I think it's just a nice sanitized not dusty microfiber cloth And let's see what it is here Wipe paper in this package and then an actual microfiber cloth and dust remover stickers stickers it doesn't give you any instructions but i would assume you probably remove the dust first which would be like this this is not dusty at all though because it's um, kind of a new car, and I did use a microfiber cloth before I did it. So, I'm not too worried about the dust there. But then you get the wipe paper, and this here you just open. This is a little bit more of a moist texture, texture almost like a little handy wipe that you get when you eat chicken wings. Yum. So I'm gonna give this a nice wipe. Get this up and down motion. I'll do a little side to side action. That's the wipe. And then they give you this really nice cloth. This is like what I use on my glasses. I have tons of these, but it's nice that they're giving it all to you. So you're using nice and clean stuff. And then you wipe everything down. So this is getting any of the nastiness that's on the screen, like oil from your you know, fingers, your skin, or maybe if you had something go up there and splatter. So the end result should be a really nice clean screen. So then you're on to applying the actual protector. It comes in a nice package, so you can pull it out. It's going to be all dust-free and everything. Be careful not to touch the back side of it. You don't want to smudge it up before you put it on there. And then you basically are just going to set this. So the back, this section helps to remove the main mask. So then it looks like you... Let me look at these instructions they gave real quick to make sure I do this correctly. Uh, compare it with your screen, make sure it fits. Clean the screen, use the dust remover sticker, so you would have did that after you cleaned it. Use the positioning label to align the protector on the screen. Tear off the back protector film clockwise. Gently swipe from the center of the screen and wait for the protector to absorb automatically. All right. I don't know what kind of 
craziness this is, but somehow or another it actually is supposed to stay on here. That's that. It's on there, but it still moves. And the cut is actually not for the whole screen. Like you can clearly see that there's gap down here. So my review on this screen protector, thumbs down, and I'll give them this feedback, but it does not fit perfect. You have gap at the bottom, you have gap up the side. I so these are little organizers that go, <clears throat> as I understand it, where you would shut the door. So these will slide like right in there. And what I can tell you right away, quite the tight fit. And what I don't like about these are these little tiny they just kind of throw them in there. But these little flimsy things go in the bottom. But they're a bit of a pain to put in because they'll, they want to stick, as you can see, to the plastic once you lay it in there. So you got to kind of drape it in and put your finger in and maneuver it. So kind of a pain to do that, but I'm more curious why it's so tight to put these on the door or my intent was to have a little cubby here that i could put like my wallet or cell phone in this is how it would go but it is not a good fit i mean i just put a ton of pressure there so let me check and see maybe this is for the back door maybe they're, they're different i don't think so Ah, okay, so they are. So that was for the back door. I do like that when it's on. You still get the get the door pull. That, this I really like. I like this a lot. Putting that little mat in there, easy enough. I did not, I elected not to pull that tape off on the back purposely. So let's take another look here. So. It doesn't say where they go. You just got to kind of use your best judgment. On the bottom, it just says Ford Maverick and some Chinese writing. But you have to pay attention to the front and the back because they are different sizes. Okay, so I have this one all set up. And this is going to be the one for the driver side door. So you can see they gave you some tape there because that is definitely a loose fit. So it's probably advised to use that tape, which I'm okay with because I do like having that little storage compartment in there. Okay, so I peeled all the tape off, one on the front, one on the back, and then both sides. And then when you put it in there, Give it a nice press. Some pressure on it is going to actually do anything. There we go. You just got to really put some firm pressure on it and let it sit. Okay, so do I like the door storage? Absolutely. The ones in the back fit very snug without any tape, so I'm not going to tape them. The ones in the front were very loose, but once you apply the tape, it prohibits them from coming out. And you have a little extra storage. And again, I think it's just nice to have that if you throw something in it. Like if you're driving and you have to um, have like maybe it's a receipt, a parking pass, whatever the case is, it's cool to have that there. It might be, you know, even a little promotional card. Now that I'm a number two rudders kind of just throw it in there let it sit so you know that was just empty space and now it's actual storage space so 
So boy, do you get some bits. It's a five minute install because you're basically just sitting it where it goes. And what I'm most interested for are these little cubbies that get dusty, the cell phone area. I'm not gonna put one up here because that's why I keep the business cards. But let's go ahead and demonstrate what I mean by this. However, I'm not gonna put it on a dirty cup holder. So just hang on. Okay, so I cleaned the cup holder and my stock base model XL has these nice cup holders. With this pad, I can now put it in here. I actually like that. I can't believe it. I think that little splash of color is super cool, but it also provides a little bit of practical, practical space for me. Now it's kind of like a puzzle. You kind of got to figure out where the other ones go. I'm specifically looking for this one. Not that, because that, I guess it's more like a rectangle. It's probably that one right there, that's a little small. So basically with these, you kinda gotta peck around. I can't, I don't even know why I have so many. I guess one for the door maybe? Let me look at the, uh, the website and see what it says. Okay, I figured the puzzle out all good. I really dig these anti-slip mats and the protection they're providing. Kind of a bad light in here right now, I know. But you can hopefully see how cool these things look in the cup holders, in the little nooks and cramp crannies. Up here where I hold my business cards. In the doors. And then of course, in the back door. So you just gotta be patient, kind of figure out what, you know, where things go. But so do I like this stuff from Royal One? I do. And the reason why I like it is it's easy, it's pretty cheap and affordable, and I think it jazzed up the car nice. My absolute favorite is the compartment organizer. My second favorite, the door pull cubbies. My third would be the actual anti-slip mats. I do not like the screen protector, it just didn't fit. So maybe uh, maybe it's supposed to not fill the whole thing. It's on, you can't tell it doesn't fill the whole thing. So am I being too picky? I don't know. I don't really know what to expect with those. I give it a thumbs up. Thanks for sending me these products to review. If you buy these for your Ford Maverick, it's a cheap way to jazz things up. Why not do it? It's easy. And uh, the, the Cubbies, more storage, the better. I use this as a project truck. I'm in it a lot, as I mentioned. So I installed the door handle organizers, the Cubby, the anti-slip mats, and the screen protector. I would give these a thumbs up. They are shipped from China. You're not gonna get a lot of instructions, but at the end of the day, you know, it's not too hard to figure out. Thanks for tuning in. I hope this was uh, a useful video and hopefully you're enjoying some of these enhancements I'm making to my 2023 Ford Maverick XL Hybrid. Have a great day. Give me a subscribe on YouTube. It means a lot to me. Thank you.